What is the best item on the Taco Bell menu? Fast foodies speak out and are thinking outside the bun. Now, on The Brew. All right, here comes the Taco Bell items. What's your favorite? Taco Bell, man. This is my favorite subject we've ever talked about on here. I'm a huge Taco Bell enthusiast. If you guys follow me on social media, you know that. Best item is, in my opinion, the Doritos Locos. If you can get the fiery shell, do it. But at least the nacho cheese uh, gordita crunch. If you could get the gordita crunch with that, with the little uh, with the sauce they have amongst all that glue gun, disgusting artificial meat and cheese, oh, my mouth is watering. Nice. You also like that orange dust on your fingers. No, because with the Gordita Crunch, it comes with that soft outer shell. So you have the crunchy part inside. With the soft outer shell, you really get like just a little bit of crunch to it. It's, it's perfect. It's a perfect amount. Taco Bell knows what they're doing, and their sauce is super addictive. I'm pretty sure they put crack in it. But don't <laughs> sue me if they, you know, if they actually do. Like, Yeah, you know your Taco Bell. That's, that's a good answer. All right, me, I have a food item I love. It's the Beef Chalupa Supreme. I like the Supreme stuff. You get the, you know, the tomatoes on there. You get the sour cream going, lettuce and all that. But my second item, those of you who follow me on social media, you know that I love the Mountain Dew. So, hey, it's a Mountain Dew Baja Blast, Baja which, Blast. which was a Taco Bell exclusive for years. Now it's actually, you can buy it in 7-Eleven or where else, you know, it's out and about again. But the fountain drink version is really great. And the freezy version is kind of cool too. And if you hit the Taco Bell canteen, they put the booze in there. Hey, man, that's also a winner there too. So none of this is healthy, by the way, but you know what? Sometimes you just need a little Taco Bell in your life. Dude, the way that you just described, okay, first of all, the Beef Chalupa Supreme is my second favorite item. It's funny that you said that. Um, but the second part is like, the more exclusive places you go, the harder. Like Baja Blast, can the Taco Bell Cantina that sells Baja Blast is pretty rare. That's not people, people aren't gonna be able to do that in most states watching this. But uh, there's like one down the street from me and then like big cities and then like nice places. Pretty much anywhere that's not a complete shithole, you're going to have those better options. And like what you said about how they can sell Baja Blast in stores, that's also limited. And I think the reason it's limited is because they want demand to stay somewhat high. And there's definitely an algorithm that goes into the number that they have before they decide how much they're going to sell. Well, Mountain Dew has all these like store exclusives, you know, like 7-Eleven has their own, like I think Walmart has their own, you know, there's uh, Kroger or somebody else, like, there's all these like individual flavors now that make you go to those stores to get them. So that's part of their marketing strategy. But, and the other thing I want to say about Taco Bell, which is good about them, they are really, really good about giving like these new limited time items that are great for social media. Crazy, you know, tacos you would never think of, like the canteen menu now with the green sauce going on. Now you have pink cabbage, like they're really good with that, whereas other fast food chains are kind of like, yeah, we don't care. You're exactly right. And I think it goes beyond that because I think that I would put the crown on them for being the restaurant that does that the best, to be honest, uh, uh, for how much appeal they have. Most people can relate to the crispy chicken canteen at Taco that's out right now. We're talking about July 2024. So that's the new item now. But it's always some new item. Joe's exactly right. What he just said is true. And you're going to wait until you get a specific variant of this food if it comes out one time a year. And then it's going to keep Taco Bell in the back of your mind. And it's going to keep you on the app. And it's all a marketing scheme. But they do it very well. They know exactly what they're doing. Well, speaking of the power of social media, we ask our viewers what items they love to talk about, what's the best. And the first one, due to social media, was brought back by popular demand. And Title Town Unit says, I love the Mexican pizza, but my favorite was the Enchirito. Scoots in Vegas says, not currently on the menu, but it's the chili cheese burrito. Jason says, Mexican pizza or cheesy gordita crunch. Nick says, Mexican pizza and Mountain Dew Baja Blast. Matt Tree says, I don't know if they make it anymore. It's been a while since I, I've been to one, but the Double Decker Taco Supreme. Hey, wait a minute. Now that's a step up. That was like the original one, like you talked about the Doritos taco, you know, inside the, the other, the shell. But the Double Decker Taco Supreme, that was like one of their original ones. And yeah, that's been discontinued for a long time. It has been, but they, they come back with like, they'll do the double shell taco or whatever that's really similar to it, where you can put Supreme on it and it, it's basically the same. They also had, a, like to go to your point, what you said earlier with your favorite item, the Beef Chalupa Supreme. Do you remember like maybe 10 years ago when it was like Brian Wilson, the closer of the Giants, to do with the giant beer, and it was that double XL Chalupa on the commercial, and it was just fucking huge, or freaking huge, because it's YouTube. And that thing was like almost the size of my dog when he was born. 
It's just gigantic. Those little items like that. That's exactly perfect example. I think it was actually bigger than the size of your dog, even currently. <laughs> hey, good problem to have, right? Yeah, exactly. Todd says, my favorites are no longer available. The two X stuffed steak burrito. Oh, I forgot about that. And a seven layer burrito. The five layer beefy burrito is good. Chicken or steak supreme burritos. I'm not sure if there's anything on the menu that I would dislike. And finally, Starman says, when they had cheaper prices, Taco Bell's not gourmet. They should not be charging any more than $2.50 a taco. It doesn't matter what their overhead is. All right, well, thanks to Todd for bringing back a, a, the, the old fashioned XL steak taco line. That was good. And Starman, well, unfortunately, the price of everything's gone up now. Nothing we can do to win on that one. Oh, shit. We're getting into the working class versus the corporation debate again. Dude, we're on the same page. Joe and I are on the same page with everybody else. I agree, it shouldn't be that expensive. You can go look at Yum Food brands, their profits for, uh, you can go look at their quarterly, annual. Yeah, it, they've never had to raise their price above $2, that's true. Yep, definitely making lots of profit, but hey, you know what? When it's succulent, it's good. You gotta, you gotta pay for it. I mean, that's... You pay for it with your wallet and then with your asshole. <laughs> yeah. And out of burger. Yeah, there you go. And hey, this is a great time to ask you to click that like subscribe button for all the fun on the Jersey Joe 50 YouTube <laughs> channel because I'm going to stop Joel in that conversation from going down that road because that is, we all know that's what happens. Come on, let's, let's be honest. <laughs> and by the way, let's also point out the fact, Joel, that you also give your little pup there a taco every year for his birthday. Let's, yeah, you know, I do. I do give him, I give him a soft beef taco. If anybody wants to copy me, you're more than welcome to. I promise you your pup will appreciate it. It's also fun to watch him try to eat that thing on social video, you know, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy. It's, it's like watching a PBS, you know, Wild Kingdom special. You know, it's, it's nature, it's education. He's, for him, it's a challenge. It's like opening, for a human, it's like opening a present on Christmas. That's exactly what he does. It's or it's like me trying to open one of those blister packs anytime you buy something. Dude, he just... <laughs> yeah, there you go. I don't know how many times I've had to vacuum old tortilla or beef out of like some crevice in the, the living room that I didn't expect it to be because boom, he's like a child. You got a GameCube 20 years ago, you just fucking threw that shit everywhere. All the wrapping paper. That's that's the joy top of the Well, that's a great note to wrap the show up on. So, okay, put those visuals in your head. Church Joe and I and saying thanks for watching. Enjoy your Taco Bell and we'll see you next time, my hope. Streaming now, Jersey Joe is giving away more Amazon gift cards. It's a new game of what is it really and spin to win.